hi everybody welcome back to my channel stepping into peppers with me melissa um to all of my new subscribers welcome uh, thank you for subscribing don't forget to hit that notification bell uh, so that you get a notification whenever i upload a video so today i've got a wonderful guest who's joining me on the side you can hear him um so i'm praying and hoping that all will be fine as i speak the message of god through me today so our scripture today is coming from philippians 2 from verse 12 to 14 so it reads so then my dear ones just as you have always obeyed not only in my presence but now much more in my absence continue to work out your salvation so this is going to be the topic of today's video continue to work out your salvation now what does that mean it means uh, cultivate it bring it to full effect actively i like this part that says actively pursue spiritual maturity so most of us when we receive christ as our savior and we get saved we tend to leave everything there we don't actively pursue spiritual maturity now what do, what do i mean by that read the word of god continue to um to dwell in the presence of God continue to pray for yourself do not just wait for other people to pray for you do not wait for um, other people to come and read the word with you um, but then again when you are being active or proactive about something that means you are intentional about your spiritual maturity about your spiritual health um, you are intentional about how you're going to spend your time um, in the presence of God to ensure that your spirit grows now we saw the other part that says bring it to full effect that means there can be times or situations that people will not bring their salvation to full effect that means it is a journey you are supposed to be taking those necessary steps to get to that spiritual maturity God also said um, cultivate it cultivate your salvation now when we're talking about cultivation we mean prepare or use or acquire or develop a skill or a quality salvation acquire salvation develop salvation continue to work on it when you have received Christ so moving on with the verse it also now says with all inspired fear and trembling okay I've got a little one <laughs> okay with all inspired fear and trembling so using the amplified version it's also saying using serious caution okay use serious caution and critical self-evaluation to avoid anything that might offend God or discredit the name of Christ now other versions say um, with deep reverence now reverence also means with respect for something work out your salvation with respect now reverence sorry with reverence reverence protects your life it protects your life when you treat something with respect you are protecting it so it is your duty to protect your own salvation to cultivate your own salvation and not to wait or to rely or either to depend on other people around you because it is your duty and sometimes when we tend to rely or to depend on other people around us to cultivate our salvation this can affect or it can um, break that protection that's there um, to your salvation reverence also grounds us okay it invites us to pay attention pay attention to what you're doing in order to cultivate your salvation um, to protect your salvation pay attention to what you're listening to who you're spending time with we spoke about um, guarding last time when I uploaded a video on guarding your salvation you can watch the video um, after this um, this video but then again be intentional pay attention to whom you're spending time with the conversations you're having uh, what you're listening to and also your spiritual journey it depends on it 
okay so we all know what they say you reap what you sow okay so if you're spending time being intentional about cultivating your salvation then you will get to that spiritual maturity that god desires desire for you to get to now will you ever get to a point where you say this is enough or i've reached i've arrived no it's a continuous journey you are meant to be constantly looking at yourself critic carrying out a critical self-evaluation am i living according to the word of god am i doing what needs to be done have i said anything that could have offended anyone today have i lived in a way that's given credit to god have i done anything that might offend god so i'm not saying you are meant to be um coming up with a list or or anything in particular but have have a mindset that is intentional to grow okay self-evaluation is also a method that is used to grow yourself okay so do not be afraid i know sometimes we may say or it is true actually that the enemy is there to accuse your things you have done but if those things are highlighted and you realize you're feeling guilty about something just go before god read the word of god and just pray about those little things whether they are bad habits or they are or it's part of our behavior just you know to pray about those things also Pray to the Holy Spirit. Pray to God that the Holy Spirit reveals things within you that are discrediting the name of God. Okay? That might be offending God. Pray about those things. And the Holy Spirit is there to teach and guide you and me and to reveal things that are hidden within us. That's why God says um, in his word that call unto me and I will reveal. So when you're intentional instead of thinking it changes your mindset so instead of thinking i cannot do this or i'm fine you think to yourself what can i do to become better um whatever there's an obstacle how can i overcome it how can i go around it so um i guess the first step is to be prayerful and then that changes your mindset and uh, it can now have a knockover effect on your heart. So those things that are in your heart that are that are causing you to speak of certain things, because what we say are the things that are coming out of our heart that could be offending God or offending the people of God as well. So uh, the word of God does say that we are his ambassadors. Okay, we are the ambassadors of the word of god so it is your duty to make sure you're living in a way that is giving glory to god the decisions we make the way we act um in front of non-believers or even the believers um all of those things what we say what we think of sometimes we think oh i've not said anything but even the things that we think of they can even offend even some of the things that we think of you might not think if you're not doing anything to anybody uh but who is to know what you've done wrong except the spirit okay it is not all the time that you're able to detect or to know uh whether you've done something right or wrong but when you're prayerful and you're intentional about your spiritual maturity or your spiritual growth or health then you will take this um necessary step to carry out a, a critical self-evaluation i like the word importantly critical okay be critical of um not that you're meant to be pointing out your flaws that's different okay so when you're being critical you're pretty much um so it is a skill okay they say be a critical thinking apparently is a skill so you need to be able to apply the word of god you need to be able to evaluate yourself you need to be able to gather information to observe your actions observe to be attentive to your words you need to be able to reflect okay, so we move on to uh verse 13 which reads it is not your strength but it is god who is effectively at work in you both to will and to work okay i love this part that says it is god who is effectively at work in you both to will so to want to desire okay to desire to want something for his good pleasure so he's the one who's able to strengthen you to energize you to create in you the longing and the ability to fulfill your 
purpose okay to fulfill your purpose for what for his good pleasure so let's get deeper into this chapter it says do everything without murmuring or questioning the providence of god so that you may prove yourself to be blameless and godless innocent and uncontaminated children of god without blemish without blemish in the midst of a crooked and perverted generation in this world of darkness so i know that you can never please everybody and you can never be right in the eyes of everyone all right but um it is important for the children of god meaning me and you and everybody else to do things without questioning to prove ourselves to be blameless meaning um again going back to what i was saying being careful of how we act being careful even now that there's even social media the things that we are interacting with okay the things that we are liking on social media that we are sharing and posting is that um proving you to be blameless to be innocent to be uncontaminated okay so are those actions um leading to spiritual maturity the things that we are liking and sharing and are they things that are crediting the name of god are they things that are offending or not offending god so let's just be careful i know most of us say well it doesn't matter because i pray behind uh the scenes or in my clothes uh in a closet in my secret closet now we need to understand that our lives are not just for us to live anymore especially now that you do have an understanding of um the your salvation and your purpose and who you are where you're from um so we all know that what we do it does give credit or discredit the name of god and it is your duty as the ambassador of christ to make sure that you are not playing a part in sharing things in liking things in um posting things that are discrediting the name of god or even the offending the name of god offending god offending the holy spirit offending everything that is within you all the hard work that he puts within you it is your duty to guide and protect work for his good pleasure the will to intentionally um cultivate your spirit the will to continue continue so it's a continuous process it's not something that you will do today and it's done for the rest of you as long as you live it is your duty to continue to work out your salvation okay, so thank you all for watching thank you for tuning in with me and my little guest i just pray that you have a blessed weekend and if you've got any comments uh please just comment down below or you can send me an a message in my inbox and also just in case whilst you're waiting for a video Feel free to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram page, which is just down here. And um, if you're not able to find it, you can, I'll put a link down below in the description box. And thank you so much for sharing. I really, really appreciate your support. Um, if you feel there's someone else that will receive this word, please just um, forward the link of this video to them. Thank you so much, guys. Until we meet next time, have a good day.